Hello, good evening or happy time zoning or whatever. Yes, all right. Welcome, come on in. Oh, thank you for the follow, four gathers. Okay, so. It is quite warm here today and I was out planting uh, new flowers and plants in the in my pollinator garden in 90 some degrees and 90 some percent humidity so we're having a lovely little rainstorm in our soundscape tonight uh, and we can swap that to music later but that's that's where I was I just needed to cool off <laughs> that's why all my hair is up okay let's go ahead so welcome everybody um, tonight is not really a topic night kind of it's it's really this is another this is this is one of those times where I pretend it's a topic while sneaking in my own agenda yes uh, so I need to do some prep work for Gen Con uh, and we had several people say that they were interested in you know how to best to do author tables for live events so that's what we're doing tonight so gather around we're gonna hang out Hello, Seeker. Thanks for hanging out. And give me just a moment here to get some things moving around. Probably should have gotten all of these set up in advance, but I'm a little slow. Hold on, things want authentication. I'm a big fan of two-factor authentication, but sometimes I just need you to move faster. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the one you want. Come on. What do you mean you're unable to verify? I'm looking right at it. How interesting. We'll sort that out later. Okay. Let's move things around. So, one of the things, can I see, can I, can I make you work? Whoosh, yay, all right. Uh, so things that we are working on over here, if you can see my list, this is, uh, Evernote has a lovely checklist feature, so that's how I get things organized and done and then I can just duplicate it and modify it for each new event so I've got a, a fresh checklist for every event and I can uh, adjust them because some events will require some things and be set up a little bit differently hey Sophia welcome Fifi world's maker come on in have a have it have a chair <laughs> yes so uh, so this is my first year to do Gen Con as an author. I've been going to Gen Con for a long time. Usually I'm there as a presenter or as an event organizer. Uh, my sister and I do a lot of cultural presentations or costume workshops. So we do a lot of uh, those kinds of things. And if you may have seen like, um, oh my gosh, I don't think I've had Elena do her Phantom Thief literary talk here, but that probably be a good idea. Um, or if I've talked about Japanese history, you know, really fascinating episodes from Japanese history or Japanese folklore and all the yokai and those kinds of things. Uh, those are on my YouTube channel if you uh, want to check those out or the um, Elena's Phantom Thief Literary History I think is on our costuming channel. But anyway, all of those things are out there and available. Uh, but this is my first year to attempt to do a author table, which I have never done largely because of the time commitment. You know, at Gen Con, I'm really busy doing a lot of things, um, you know, from running workshops to playing games or whatever. And, um, but I finally decided it was probably, probably hit the point where it was worth the time investment to, you know, Hey, let's try this. Let's, let's get an author table and see if that kicks me, uh, you know, into visibility for a new readership or something like that. So that's where we are. Uh, so anyway, that's what I'm doing here. So I've got 
Uh, I've copied um, a lot of my standards into this Gen Con author table checklist and then I've added a few things. So uh, something that is a little bit different about planning for Gen Con as opposed to planning for say a library author fair or something like that uh, is Gen Con. This is four days all day. <laughs> Whereas a library book fair, I might be at a table for three hours or something. Here, I'm just going to need a lot more things uh, to make this to make this happen. Uh, I will have more more product. Uh, I'm taking pins. Uh, I may or may not have stickers. Um, previously, they have disallowed giving away stickers, which make, totally made sense because the convention center doesn't like peeling them off of things. Uh, this year, I saw in our instructions we are not allowed to sell stickers allegedly for the same reason, but I'm like, who pays for stickers and then sticks them on the wall? What's wrong with people? <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna see if I can sell stickers, but mail them instead of handing them out. We'll find out. Yeah, I like stickers and I found that the stickers have been a pretty popular swag item for my books. I have several stickers for the Shard of Elan series. Uh, so I was hoping that I get, anyway, my experiment, what I plan to do is take stickers, have, the, have samples, uh, people can choose stickers. I will have them address an envelope and then mail their stickers to them directly from the con. Uh, and if administration management doesn't like that, then I will just continue that practice. That's my current plan. We'll see. Uh, anyway, so uh, I will need you know, a pin and sticker display. Uh, I will need battery packs because you know for a three hour event, I'm not gonna run low on, a, on my battery, but um, I will absolutely uh, need, and because my, my phone is how I do, how I process all my payment and whatnot. Also communication, <laughs> those kinds of things. And uh, yeah, I know that uh, internet service is not gonna be great in the convention center, not with that many people, so, you know, several thousand people competing for it anyway. So I'm gonna need my data service to be good. And you know, just, I need to plan for all of these things. So you'll see I have a cooler where, uh, let's see, can, can you guys catch my, does my cursor show? I don't know, but um, so I'm gonna take a cooler, I'm gonna take drinks and snacks. Um, Wild Bill mug, so this one's a little bit obtuse if you're not familiar with it, but um, there is a traveling soft drink company uh, which sells mugs, which then you can refill at a discount. And my table is within rock throwing distance of their uh, vending area uh, this year. So I'm taking my mug, which I purchased two years ago at Gen Con so that I can get discount refills on their tasty, tasty sodas. So um, one of the big uh, uh, challenges, I guess, at a place like Gen Con, and let me just back up and say no, in a normal year, which is not this year. So heads up, <laughs> this year has a giant asterisk next to it and, and will. Uh, but in a normal year, there will be I don't even know how many tens of thousands of people. Um, I think turnstile, turnstile attendance is well over, well over 100,000, but individual unique attendance, I wanna say is around 65,000. I don't know, this is something that could be Googled. Um, Seeker might know, Seeker's in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Kate, welcome, tasty, tasty sodas. I'm talking about um, uh, Wild Bill's uh, craft sodas that will show up at various conventions, so. Uh, Anyway, so if typically they will actually um, throttle the people entering the vendor hall uh, as, to avoid getting too many, and, it's, and you're very much having to compete for attention because there will be tens of thousands of people looking for things and you have hundreds and hundreds of booths. Um, again, a little bit different setup than say like a library author fair. This is why uh, it's, you know, there is no one size fits all checklist for these things. Uh, so you'll see that I'm doing some things to try to help my booth stand out a little bit. And you'll see some of that while I'm, uh, is what I'm going to be working on tonight. Um, I have upright stands. Uh, if you think of like a greeting card display rack or something like that, it's an upright stand that sits on the table. So I get vertical uh, space for my tables and I take that to all events. It doesn't matter what the event is. Uh, might have a pop-up banner so that I get a six foot visual display um, there. I'm taking fairy lights. I have these cool gas lanterns. Let me grab this. It's not that far away. Hold on. Okay. 
I borrowed these from my mom, who I think most recently used them for a Sherlock Holmes display, but I hope this is going to show with all my stream lighting on. Um, they, hey, it kind of shows, yeah, so it simulates a gas lantern, and I'm going to hang these high on either side of my booth uh, to give it a little bit of atmosphere. Um, yeah, so uh, there's a little bit of movement and a little bit of, you know, atmosphere. It's going to look a little bit lamp lighty. And I can do that because behind my booth will be, oh, and I can adjust that now. Um, been waiting to get confirmation. I'll have six foot tall art display panels, not pipe and drape. Uh, so I can, I have already ordered the hooks that will hook over those panels and then I can use those to display my banners and my gas lanterns. So my banners, and I am investing uh, uh, quite a bit more than normal uh, in this, uh, in my Gen Con author table. Uh, not, not, one, it costs a lot more than normal. <laughs> this is uh, this is a three-digit investment in just to get the table uh, in the first place. So I'm, it's one of those things where I'm really hoping it's going to uh, to come out okay. Where? Here we go. Let's. Let me see if I can share this with you guys. Give me a second. Yeah. All right. Hopefully you guys can see here. Let me drag this around a little bit. Excuse me. Pardon me. There we go. Um, so these are, I'm ordering two three foot by three foot banners. Um, and these will hang behind my table. And because of the table back is two of those six foot tall author uh, art display panels set at just a very slight angle so that they make a little zigzag so that they stand up. <laughs> and um, so those two are going to center with a tiny little corner behind my table. And uh, so I'm going to hang two banners meeting in the middle here. So if you look at, I'm hoping, um, yeah, I guess you can see my, you can see my cursor there. So these should touch in the middle here. So that's why I want my horizon. Somebody very helpfully pointed out to me that my horizon was, was not matching up when I did my rough draft of these. So that's why we share our rough drafts, <laughs> get feedback. Um, and I'm real happy with um, how these affects, I don't know if you can see, let me see if we can get here. Sorry, I am experimenting all kinds of things today on, on displaying for you guys. So if, uh, if it doesn't come through on the stream, yell, and we'll try to make things more visible. But you can see there's a little bit of a fire burn effect going on. So I just really like how these came out. So there we go. Um, and so what I've tried to do here is let's put... Uh, a series up top um, and I've got some standalones here and I've got indicating that we're doing audiobooks so I'm just trying to I want people at a glance to uh, to know oh these are these are all the kinds of products we have available uh, it doesn't look like I'm just selling one format or something and speaking of at a glance uh, <laughs> you if you've been here for a while you have heard me say so many times Half of marketing is filtering out the people who are not your audience. Author tables are the perfect time and place to practice this. I want my color palette, the mood, the tone, everything that's going on, those, those flickering gas lanterns, those, uh, the colors that are in this uh, particular display. What is going on over here? Give me one second. Hi. What are you doing? I need to check on you. Okay, let me fix this right here. Um, sorry, there's a, there's a thing going on with my graphic. Let me fix that. Um, but anyway, all of these things need to, at a glance, without any you know stop and study, uh, immediately convey something about my genre or my themes or what people can expect. 
Uh, if somebody walks by my table and looks at it, they should not think, oh, she's pushing romantic comedy, okay? If they're looking for romantic comedy, I want them to glance at my table and keep going. That saves them time, that saves me time. It keeps my table clear for people who are looking for angsty epic fantasy to be able to get to it because it's not taking up that space, taking up my resources with people who are not a good fit for my product, okay? So, you know, again, the, the goal here is not how do I stop as many people as possible. The goal here is how do I stop the people who are interested in my stuff? So there's a, there's a thing to think about. And then I'm going to take a moment and try to figure out what's going on right here with this. Uh, I want to get rid of this little edge. That's if you, I don't know if you can see this little edge right here. Look, give me a second while I work that out. Oh, that's going to be real darn simple. <laughs> Let me make sure this looks good all around. I'm totally happy to just drag that overhead. Yeah, that's great. Everything works. Sweet. Oh, I love it when it's easy. Let me save that. Thanks. All right. If you guys have questions, by the way, um, I'm. this is me. I'm totally intended to just work and talk about what I'm doing, but by all means, let's make this discussion if, if we want, because that's way more fun. And are you still hearing our storm? Did that go away? We could shift to a friendly tavern. Yeah, let's go over here. See what we get. Make it feel a little bit more like a convention. All right. So, let me get back to my to-do list here. Okay. Too many windows to manage. All right. Okay. So all of these are things that I'm going to need to pack. One, I am not, not kidding. This is one of the, one of the most important, uh, where did it go? Here we go. One of the most important items on, on any of my pack lists is the folding cart. This is great. I, got my first one I want to say at Sam's Club like forever ago because I haven't had a Sam's Club membership in ages but uh, it could be Sam's Club I think I bought a replacement on Amazon later I know I have two at this point uh, but they're carts that successfully carry hundreds of pounds you know uh, it, I can stack so many boxes of books or other things on them and then they fold flat so they're easy to pack in my car. I just pull them out when I get to the venue, stack everything on them. Uh, and then at the venue, I fold them flat, just put them under my table. At the end of the day, pull them out, pop them up, load them up, <laughs> okay? Um, even if you're going to a place that allegedly will have carts for you. Uh, for example, I was at a conference recently. Uh, we were having a uh, book fair author festival signing thing uh, as part of the conference. And yeah, there's luggage carts in the hotel. Do not, do not just tell yourself that you're going to be able to grab a luggage cart when you need one or that there will be a hand cart when you need one at the convention center or whatever. Uh, yeah, folding carts are worth every penny you invest in them. Uh, and, and let me say too that I, I'm moving a lot of product. I have uh, quite a few books. I bring a lot of titles to an event uh, and something like Gen Con you know, there are events where like, it, it's a really great day. I sold four books, okay? Some of the, some of your smaller local fairs might be like that. Uh, Gen Con, I'm really hoping to move a lot more <laughs> than that. As I said, this is a three digit investment just to get the table. So, uh, so just, yeah, just make sure that, make your life simple. Other things that I'm taking then, you know, these don't go to everything, but these are going to Gen Con. Um, business license that's just nice to to have uh, in case it, anybody decides to drop in and check and make sure that I'm properly collecting sales tax. Uh, EVA floor mats these are uh, uh, the, the you'll see them as exercise mats or shock absorbing mats and I've just um, I'm gonna double layer them because I need to be there for four days and 
Uh, I'm going to have, have a way to not, to not hurt <laughs> while I stand on, you know, a concrete convention center floor. So I'm going to have uh, those squishy floor mats to stand on. The butterfly mat is just another uh, mat. It's shaped like a butterfly, so that's why it's called that. But it has, because it's shaped like a butterfly, and it has different ridges, and uh, it's, just, it's just something you can stand on that changes, you know, the, the form. So you can stretch your feet and move your feet a little bit, even if you're standing there a long time. Panel hooks, those are going on the rear panels. So, um, okay, so Square, I, I use uh, Square to uh, process my credit cards uh, and handle all my, ca my cash transactions and things uh, at events. Uh, so if anybody has questions about that, feel free to ask and I'm happy to give you a referral, which benefits both of us if you do not have a Square account and would like one. Oh, Kyle, thank you. That is a very sweet comment to get. Aw. <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah, so, um, okay. Uh, cards up here. Book cards are, you know what, let me just grab, I'm, I'm sitting in my office next to piles and piles of boxes. Let me grab a couple of these and I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. Let me switch, switch cameras here, maybe. Whoosh, okay. All right. So book cards would be something like this. So I have uh, something that if it, somebody's walking by, is interested in my stuff, but isn't quite ready to commit, they can pick this up, drop this into their swag bag, their backpack, whatever. So when they get home and they shake it out <laughs> onto their bed, they can be like, oh, right, this looks really good. I should go ahead and get that. Doesn't always work that way, but <laughs> you know, they're definitely gonna remember it more if they have something to grab onto than if they just have to keep it in their head after four days of late night games. Um, so this one has, sorry. <laughs> so this one has a book cover and then uh, back cover description, where to get it, all kinds of info on the back. This one's pretty text heavy. You don't have to go that, that text heavy. Uh, do I ever include coupon codes? Not yet, but maybe. One of the things that I'm going to do this year uh, is I will have a sign with a QR code to buy eBooks and audiobooks on the spot. So you don't have to remember to go home and shake stuff out. You can be like, oh, this looks really great. I don't buy paperbacks. I only do audiobooks. You know, whatever. Fill in the fill in the blank. Um, fine, great. Point your phone at it while you're standing at my table and complete the purchase without ever having to remember anything. Rule number one: always make it easy for your customer to give you money. So, yeah. Okay. Oh, hey, Megan. You made it. Awesome. So, uh, what did I have next? Oh, author cards. Author cards. This is my author card, and this is just my business card, okay? Um, my business card, excuse me, uh, my business card looks a little bit weird, sorry. <laughs> Not used to mirroring things. Uh, my business card, I did basically as uh, collector's cards, so this is the size of a uh, collectible trading card game. I'm a Magic the Gathering or a Yu-Gi-Oh character <laughs> or whatever. Um, I'm a face, famous baseball player or something. This is the, that's the size card this is. And then I just did it like that kind of format. And mine actually has, I don't know if you're able to see this, statistics. So I have what genres I do. I have what special abilities I have. <laughs> I have what'll power me up is dark chocolate. Um, so these are fun. And again, this is you know something for people to pick up and keep going. And then I have character cards, and these are specifically for individual books. And I don't do this for everything. I only have this for the Shard of Elan series because um, you know it's a it's a whole series. I've invested a little bit more. So again, on the back, you know, just kind of a generic card. Um, and on the front, 
here we go. How do I, how do I do that? Okay, good. Um, <laughs> it's like, watch Laura try to do things in reverse. Um, so these are little bits about the characters and include character art. And, you know, again, you could, you could do a lot of fun with these. I have uh, four of these for this series, but I just grabbed the two that were closest. So, um, so anyway, yeah, so those will be things that I will have either sitting out on the table for people to grab and go, or that I can hand to people like, um, probably not going to ask people to just pick up character cards as they're walking down the aisle. They have no context for what that is. But if you purchase a book, I'm going to slip these in as bookmarks. Um, or if you're taking, uh, you know, more materials on the series or something, I'm going to, I'm going to make sure you get those. And then this is a take it home, please buy this. <laughs> so. Maps, yeah, is this right? Yeah, this is right. So I have maps and I typically will give these away. Uh, if you buy a book in the series, uh, you get a map to take with you. Something I just started doing at, uh, at live events and I really kind of like it is people would say, oh, I'm gonna buy this for my nephew, my cousin, you know, my, my boyfriend, whatever. Um, you know, it seems like something he'd like, so I'm gonna buy, you know, this, um, and, and my girlfriend's getting it for Christmas, and I'd be like, great, do you want me to wrap it for you? And I would get a couple of maps, and I would wrap it. Uh, so then, one, service, <laughs> okay, make them happy. Uh, two, uh, how fun is that? You get something in this unique wrapping paper, you're already excited about it, you know, all of that sort of stuff. <laughs> Megan says, use the character cards as bookmarks. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, okay. Um, so does all that stuff make sense? Like, I'm just gonna keep talking. Um, <laughs> yeah, oh, hey, Joe, thanks for stopping by. Um, yeah, so, okay. Other things that I have, it, you know, and again, because Gen Con, I'm, I want, I want to be a little more flash, <laughs> a little more splashy because I am, in a really competitive environment. Um, and I don't mean competitive like, oh, I have to outsell the author next to me. Okay, that's not at all what I mean. What I mean is there is a freaking lot of stuff to look at at Gen Con and I want people to see my booth and go, ooh, I need to see that too. Okay, that's what I mean by that. Um, so I'm gonna have uh, some pretty little fairy lights on my, on my display. Again, just try to make it look a little Put together. I think that, that what I want is for things to look polished. Uh, I don't want it to look like I just stacked some books and, um, you know, and, 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 okay, I'm going to be just a wee bit mean here. Um, but in, in this is, this is tough love. I have been to events where, you know, somebody put two books on their table and then a piece of paper with a ballpoint pen that said something that I honestly could not read. It could offer me money and I still can't tell you what it said. Uh, and that was their, their author table, you know, it's like, no, 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 guys, get, get polished. The more put together you look, the better people assume your books are. Okay. Get a tablecloth on that table. Ideally, remember I, you know, what I said about, uh, your color palette is one of the first things that you're communicating your theme with, right? You're setting your, you're setting your tone, you're setting your mood. Uh, so get that, get that table, get the signage. Um, don't just make signs in Arial, <laughs> the default font, Arial Calibri, what happens when you open Word? No, 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 get something that matches your book cover, get something that, that fills out that mood, okay? Like, you know, make, make, this, make this look polished, put together, professional. If that's not a thing you're great at, no problem. You know somebody who is, buy that person a pizza, okay? You will make back the cost of the pizza if your display looks more put together. So, um, Okay, so something I'm just gonna mention here, when I say here, free samples, printed or ebook, and then I have 2000 plus. Um, <laughs> Kate, Kate's, Kate's Algerian papyrus. Yeah, also probably typefaces that you should not be using in your displays. Excellent point, absolutely. Okay. Um, so I talked to some friends um, who have done author tables previously at Gen Con and um, just asked them, okay, 
what kind of how many, how many transactions did you do? What what kind of product did you move? You know, just again to try to help me plan. Keeping in mind that this year is going to be hugely different from previous years and all the data I get from this year will probably not apply next year. Uh, as I said, this year there's just going to be an asterisk next to it forever. Um, and so my goal is to do as good as well as I can this particular year and then make fresh decisions with better data uh, later in, in, out in years that are not outlying years. And the reason this is an outlying year, <laughs> last year there was no in-person Gen Con. This year, Gen Con is split into live, online, and pop-up in various game stores around the city. Uh, so it's basically running as three conventions instead of one, and the live Gen Con has an attendance cap, so it is not at all the same beast that it is in normal years. So yeah, I'm just, you know, we're just going to do what we can with this year and understand that it's not going to match previous years and it's not going to set a tone, it's, you know, it's not going to set an expectation for next year. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, but one thing that uh, one uh, someone told me was that he had free samples that he gave away and he gave away, I want to say 1,500 of, of them or something. And uh, so I was kicking around the idea of having some printed up sample booklets to give away, which is what he did, or having a specialty ebook to give away uh, that people could grab with a QR code. Uh, and again, we're, we're still, <laughs> while, while data is that um, respiratory transmission is a much bigger issue than surface transmission, um, you know, touching things, uh, that doesn't change the fact that people have been fairly well conditioned now to be cautious about touching things that they don't have to. So I'm trying to make as many things contactless as possible just because, you know, uh, facts don't always matter <laughs> and we want people to be comfortable and move things. Also, I have to pick something up uh, means one, they have to spend some time finding a place to put it in their bag uh, and they have to commit to wanting to take it with them and I have to invest money into getting it printed. Uh, I can invest my own resources, you know, time, yes, money, no, in creating an ebook uh, sampler. And you can just point your phone at it and keep walking. So, anyway, that's probably something I will experiment with, and that is something I will get to uh, now. So, let's get back to work because, sorry, I just got excited about showing things off and talking. So, oh, and these, I have a list of all the signs I need to make for myself. Um, God bless Evernote. <laughs> I love. Come back, come back next month for the How Laura Uses Evernote to Run Her Freaking Life um, talk because we are doing that because I do everything in Evernote. <laughs> Fresh Decisions with Better Data sounds like a good title for something. It is. It's like a whole blog post of how to do things. Okay, so um, yeah, and I unfortunately am the only person manning my booth, so I will need to take biology breaks at some point during the four days. <laughs> so I don't make sure I have a sign that says, hey, I'm just run to the restroom, I'll be back. So, and then I've got my drinks and my snacks, so. Okay, uh, and then one of the, some of the things I need to do in advance, I've already been stockpiling my inventory, my books are already being delivered for that. Uh, I'm gonna to put together some bundles. So rather than buying four books individually, you might be able to buy a package deal. Um, and I need to have signage and I need to have those worked out. I love that I can set up bundles in Square so I can just have it automatically say, hey, you bought a Shard and Shield, you bought a Blood and Bond, you bought a Crown and Creed, here's $2 off each or, you know, whatever that might be. I need to do the math and don't hold me to that yet. I need to finish doing the math, <laughs> but, but yeah. It will all happen automagically. All right. Um... I just listed all of those things on this very unhelpfully with the window off. I'm so sorry, guys. They should have told me that I was pointing at things that didn't exist. <laughs> so here are my are all the signs that I need to make. And here are the things I need to sit down and do the math on prior to show. And yeah, all of that. Um, this Excel sheet is where I'm just tracking all of my expenses and then I'll track in revenue and I'll figure out, was this a profitable venture? And then I will just put that data away because this year will not be a reliable predictor for next year. Uh, but 
I will feel better for having collected the data and it's a really good habit to have. So it won't be completely trash data. I just need to be aware that, you know, running three cons versus running run con uh, is gonna feel a little different. Let's go visit what I'm ordering and I will, let's see, can I get you, hold on. There we go. Yeah, all right. Um, Got Print is where I order a huge amount of my stuff. Um, I find their prices to be very competitive and their quality very good. So, um, you know, I know everybody tends to say, oh, Vista Print. Well, you know, hey, if you like them, go for it. If you're if you're not committed to them, do look at Got Print because I've been very happy there and I get no kickback whatsoever for that. Um, but the banners I will be purchasing are three foot by three foot, which are, here we go, here. Um, and I think I'm getting the matte vinyl. Might be getting the glossy, I should look. I'll make a decision there. Mesh vinyl is more expensive. It's great for outdoors where there's wind. I'm gonna be indoors, so don't let that. Um, and I am getting grommets in the corners. That will cost me an additional 20 cents. <laughs> wow, oh, the big spending. Um, but it means that I will uh, have built-in hanging. I don't have to try to mess with clips or anything like that. I've just got the hooks that are gonna go on. This, this means hooks right here. <laughs> I've got the hooks that are gonna go on top of the art panels and dro just drop my grommets onto them, done. I can get everything hung in you know, under a minute. That's if I'm super slow hang placing the hooks. So anyway, uh, anyway, these, this is working out too, as you can see here, um, $17 plus shipping, um, for, uh, the per banner, which is pretty reasonable actually. So yeah, I will be placing those orders. Um, the only reason I'm not doing them right now, uh, is there's one book cover, which I have only in low res and, uh, the designer is sending it to me literally at any moment in high res it's for kin and kind uh which is not out yet but i wanted it on the on the banner and um so that's i'm just as soon as i get that high res i'm going to drop that into my uh update the photoshop file and then place those orders so what else do i have let me get back to my my list yeah, it's a really reasonable price. It really is. And I will tell you too, hey, let me just show you over here. I don't get any money from these people at all. Um, but Got Print, if you're out there, I'm saying nice things. Send me a gift card. There we go. <laughs> but where's the, um, where's the pop-up? Signs and banners. Here we go. Retractable banners. These things are amazing. I love them. You just travel, set them up. Boom, we're done. And these are typically like... Like you see these sell for hundreds of dollars a lot of places. And uh, I'm gonna say they have tabletop versions, but let's go with this nice little stand-up version on the floor. So this is this is your size here. Like they're pretty reasonable. And um, uh, let's see, economy's just fine. And banner and stand material. Hey, hey, come on. I'm just gonna get one sided and I'm gonna get one of these. And it's 78 bucks. Like. I routinely see these for $300, $350, and I have one. It's not, it's not like they have uh, skimped on the quality and it's junk. I have one that I've been using probably for six years or so. So, yeah, strongly recommend, strongly recommend these, these guys. So, okay. Um, back here too. There we go. So let me go and set up. So one thing that I have, and I'm, I'm pretty excited about this, but I can't show you the product yet because I don't have it yet. But um, you'll see up here I have enamel pins listed. Um, Gen Con has a collectible pin program, the Pin Bazaar, and 
uh, you can you can offer a pin, you know, a collectible item that people will be traveling Gen Con looking for, you know, got to catch them all kind of a thing. And I have one that uh, Christy Good, Carmada Arts, um, here on the Twitch stream, uh, not my Twitch stream, she has her own, it's Carmada Arts. Uh, check her out, she streams quite regularly, and I asked her to do the art for this. It is a pen dragon um, concept from Kate somewhere here in the chat uh, and it's so cute it's at uh, you know the pen the, the the pen nib is the head and the bookmark is the tail and it's just really cool and so she did the art for that and I'm waiting to get the pin, pin pins the pins of the pens in um, and then so one of the things I'm doing is there is X price for the enamel pin for the pin collectors but if you buy it with a book then it is X minus price. Uh, so, and again, I'm still doing the math. I want to make sure that, you know, everything works out, that I'm not actually losing money. I don't want a loss leader, but I'll, oh, I'm willing to sell them at a discount. Um, but I'm hoping that brings some extra people. And again, that was, uh, I'm not going to lie, that was a big chunk of money. I think I dropped $1,300 to get in on that pin program. So I'm really hoping it gets people to my booth. Um, but I think I can get that back, hopefully, in the... Um, in the collectible pin market on its own because people were you know pretty pretty excited about these pins in previous years so um but i'm hoping that if they come and get the pins great i've sold the pin i'm still you know not going to lose money uh but if they come to get the pins and buy a book while they're there great now i have my book my work in the hands of somebody else so that is what I'm doing. And yeah, yeah, so I'm from the Midwest, but I'm not willing, I'm not unwilling to share uh, you know, some price points uh, just so people know how to plan. Um, that is not a typical cost for an author table. That is a huge thing that I'm doing this just this year as an experiment when I knew I could afford to experiment. So don't let that scare you. <laughs> I think that's not how that usually goes. Um, so. Okay. Um, sorry, what else? Yeah, I should work on some signs. Where's to be faster at switching windows guys I'm so sorry Here we go. all right so somewhere in here eight and a half eleven three hundred awesome there we go so I can make myself a oh that's pretty okay let's do that Uh, so, check my thing here, um, let's do a QR code for a newsletter, do this here, and I'm not going to say subscribe to my newsletter because literally nobody feels the need to do that. <laughs> why, why would you want to? Okay, what I'm going to say is get free stories and then we can uh, go from there on how those stories can be obtained. Um, yeah, and first question is why is this orange? Let's, let's, let's change that. Mm. Yeah, it looks better. All right, we'll fine tune that later. I've got my actual hex code somewhere, but I'll, I can bring that in another time. We are, oh, I don't think, can I show this to you guys? I don't know, let's see. I found out that uh, OBS, which is what I use to stream, does not like sharing just uh, images directly into it. It's very cranky about that. Let me see what I can do here. Ah, oh, yes, here we go. Can you do this, please? Show things. Can you just tile things? Thanks. 
Hey, way too much Doberman. Way too much. Get on your chair. I, I can't work with you on my lap. Come on. Hop up. Okay. Um, so. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm sorry. Why won't you cascade? What's wrong with you? All right, you know what? You're all fired. All of you, you're all fired. Go away. Okay. This on the top. Please just work. Oh my gosh, why are you like this? Fine, cool. Um, because Gen Con has gone to full mandatory masking, um, so I made myself shard and shield mask. So, uh, so you imagine a dart line here and a dart line here, and so it wraps and you get a part of the cover on and the title on each side. So, uh, so those are uh, those will be fun. Because if I have to mask up, at least I might as well be advertising. So, okay. I know your life is really hard. So sad I wouldn't let you sit in my lap while I was working. It's terrible. Okay. Where was I? Let's go back to, uh, let's go back to where we return to work. So, I want to, um, uh, make things a little bit fun. Some art to this. And as much as I love chocolate. Let's go find another typeface for this. Has one's pretty. Artifacts is good. Artifacts is very on brand. Which I left somewhere. There we go. Bold. What is your book? Demi bold. There we go. And I'm going to knock that down. Say 150. Yeah, all right. And then somewhere I should save this thing because. Um, use the terror sign. Very specific. Okay. And then somewhere I have a QR code for my newsletter. I wonder if do I have that handy? QR codes. Oh, okay, so let me pull this up and you can see what I've done elsewhere. I'm going to polish this up just a little bit for my Gen Con table, but get it in audio. That QR code will open my Soundwise account, which jump back to the episode we did on Soundwise. It's going to get uh, all but one of my audio tables, audio uh, books available on a single uh, single page. And then uh, ebook will again open that where people can complete that purchase right there so they don't have to remember to get it later if you want it in a different format other than paperback no problem grab it right here right now so i'm just going to have things ready to go and i'm going to drop my qr code right here which i hope is showing on on your screen just as soon as i find where i left my newsletter qr code and i may just go make myself a new one because i don't know if i left it it's not in my qr code folder I don't know what I was thinking. Sometimes I make mistakes. Oh, here it is. Ta -da. And oh, I don't like that. Let's 
fix that. Make sure that I don't distort the code as I shrink it. There we go. And just to make my life simpler, so let me go ahead and add a layer so that I don't have this transparent background. Yeah, thanks. Would like you actually to be white. And I would like you to be in the back. Thanks. Okay. I might add a little frame, a little decorative frame around this so it doesn't look like it's just kind of floating there. Let's see what I have in the decorative frame thing. So while I am looking for decorative frames, you guys, I planted a pollinator garden this year, which is, if you know me and you know plants, really unusual, but pandemics will drive you to do some crazy stuff. Uh, and, um, one of the things I put in was milkweed to support the monarchs. Uh, and I just didn't have any, didn't have any, didn't have any. And it's like, oh, no problem. It's my first year. Like, stuff will be fine. Uh, and then a week ago, I saw some caterpillars, but they weren't monarchs. They were um, milkweed tussock moss, tussock, tussock something moss. Anyway, uh, not, mil not monarchs. So it's like, oh, no problem. And then the milkweed, the monarchs happened. And in the last, like, five days... Like I've just had monarch explosion and I actually had to stop working today and drive to a cousin's house where she had some spare milkweed to bring them back because I was afraid they were going to run out of milkweed because they've just been stripping the leaves off of my plants. So bravo to them. Um, thanks guys. You're welcome anytime. Um, but I'm so excited. I'll be putting, uh, there's some monarchs that went in my monarch caterpillars that went in my newsletter this week. And I'll be putting more on my Instagram because I got to share these with somebody. A lot of, a lot of uh, monarchs. What? Okay, let's see pretty things here. I'm sorry, you're not going to get to see my uh, all, uh, all my frame options that I'm looking at because oh, that it's just not going to show really well for you. But I'll grab some here in a second. I don't know if this is going to work. Let's drop this over and see. Nope, you're actually snowflakes when I open you up, so let's not do that. <laughs> the dangers of trying to make decisions based on thumbnails. What are you? Oh, you're kind of cute stars and snowflakes again, but pretty. Hmm. Well, let's play with this a little bit and see what we get. So I'm just going to mangle this poor little frame. Oh, sorry, buddy. Let's get you up here. So I can see what the heck we're doing. Vertical centers, align, align, please align, horizontal centers, there we go. And let's bring both of you down a little bit. Okay, I don't know if I'm like, super happy with that, but I can leave it there while I look for something else. So we're basically at time, so I'm going to keep working because I have to get this stuff any done anyway. Um, if you guys have questions, please interrupt me. Elena is not streaming tonight, she mentioned to me, so um, we are just officially hanging out. Hi, 
has the music or background noise or anything that you guys can hear. Bridger, it's nice to have you back. Noticed you were, uh, I mean, you got epic puppy distractions going on, so. Nice, nice to see you again. One of your Havoc stories was based on Monarchs. Cool. Good. What was the title of that one? Fifi with the, with the Monarch story. going to try this and see what I think. if I make it all the way. Not that that should matter, but let's find out. Not directly editable. Oh, get out of yourself. What are you doing? Yes, I talk to Photoshop all the time because the only way I get things done in Photoshop. Leafbound. That's a fun title for Monarch Story. Was that one of the sensory ones or was that for a different theme? I'm going to double check that this is the right QR code because I have changed uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I've changed newsletter services in the past and I want to make sure that it's going to the right place. Tap here, go to look at that. Ha ha ha. Awesome. Sign up right there. Awesome. Fantastic. Everything is good. It, I love it when things work. All right. So I am going to shrink this frame just a little bit. Deselect. Thank you. Grab this. stream to hear me sing. All right, let's see how that looks like. Yeah, how do we feel about that? Hmm. Let's put a mask on this so we fade it out a little bit. We like that plan? Let's try this. That's not helpful. There we go. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. Thank you, Megan. I'm hoping. I'm trying to trying to do things here. We'll see. Gradient tool. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Alright, let's try this. Uh, didn't work. 
sword. We can do better. Why are you not giving me a center degree? Are we so tight? Fun with watching Laura click the same four things on Photoshop <laughs> repeatedly. All right, you know what? Maybe I just leave it here. Maybe I just like it this way. Maybe this is the way it's going to be. Good. Okay. Oh, good. Very taverny music. Excellent. Good, good, good. Thanks, guys. I just wanted something kind of fun to hang out with. All right. Who doesn't love a drop shot? <laughs> All right, so I'll probably have this in a frame. Then um, let me get, get it out so you guys can actually see where, where it looks like. This will be in a frame so then people can, uh, you know, grab that, grab that and be... Um, I'm gonna put a little extra light in here because I don't want to. I don't want to mislead people. For one second. And yeah, yeah, no. Let's do this. Let me do. Palette. We're going to center that and we are going to take that down to, let's start at 100. See where that gets us. Alright, so I just like to be open about. Yeah, guys, you're actually going to sign up for something here. I'm not going to just be like, oh, great, you clicked the thing, now you're stuck. And, of course, they have to choose to sign up. My newsletter is a double opt-in, so they would follow the QR code, put in their stuff, and then get an email to confirm that, yes, they really want to get it. So I don't ever sneak people onto my list. But um, I don't want them to think that it's purely as simple as getting the... Uh, is clicking the button and free stories appear because I don't want to mislead people. So, right. oh, binge worthy. Okay, jumping back to the Havoc conversation. <laughs> Havoc is a flash fiction magazine. For those of you who were not aware of what we were talking about, sorry to uh, be confusing there. Um, and shrink this down just a 
a little bit more so that it fits nicely. Alright guys, what do you think? With the dark frame or without the dark frame? Let me vote in the chat. With or without that extra dark frame. We're going to design by committee. It'll be great. <laughs> I just realized I forgot to pause some of the syncing that I usually do so we might be having more lag than we usually do and that for once is actually my fault so apologies guys if there's been lag or dropped frames that was on me tonight usually I get to blame my ISP for that but not this time this time it was me since I moved all my windows around while we were in Photoshop. All right, so I'm just gonna check that I made this one and then uh, I will obviously need to print it and to pack it, but at least I know I'm making progress. So, and I can have those be separate things. Uh, QR code for ebooks e and audiobooks. You've seen that, I'm just gonna add a frame. Let me go ahead and do that right now. Add a frame to this bad boy. And let's do this frame. I like this one. Oh, except <laughs> I, I disabled all the syncing, so that's so I can't get it off. I'm just gonna resume syncing. Clap some drop frames. It'll happen. It's probably already happened. There we go. Like that. Thank you. Yep, save that. Thank you very much. Sorry, I'm back just tweaking Photoshop items again, but with the something else on the screen. I need too many, I need auto switching screens. How does that happen? Okay. We got that. Oh, I want to have a QR code to read, you know, hey, are you interested in the Poet's Eye serial? Grab the, grab the opening chapters right now for free on your phone. You can read it while you're standing in line for your next event. So I'm just going to. Again, trying to get things as, as interactive and engaging as possible. So, strange new worlds. Okay, thanks, Fifi. So, 
Yeah, so actually, let me just pause here. Um, do you guys have any specific questions about author tables? Because I've actually, like, I've written articles on how to set up an author table uh, and would be happy to share, you know, specific uh, details if, if requested. Otherwise, I'm just going to engage and like, get a snack and actually just try to get this stuff done. <laughs> so, um, you yeah, know, just, just let me know. Let me know what you think. Um, should I demand my money back <laughs> for, for, uh, for, uh, hanging out at the, uh, at the, at the work session uh, or, or, or is there other money that I owe you now? sit down and do the math, get my bundles and my prices, price sheets made up. Those would be good. I'm trying to figure out some way that I can subtly mention that, hey, a number of these books have won awards and um, or been shortlisted or whatever. And uh, so I need to, I haven't figured out how to, I'm going to do that yet. I have my, my shiny gold Realm Award stickers um, that I can stick on some of the books, but yeah, I gotta figure out if there's, if it's, if it's worth it and if, uh, and, and how to do it in a, in a chill way. So, oh my gosh, we're up to like 30% dropped frames. I'm really sorry, guys. That was, that was my fault for not disabling some of the background syncing, but also I was using some of the background syncing, so I'm really sorry. I need to, that's why I don't usually do background syncing. Sure, there's always other money that you owe me. <laughs> yes, yes, probably, probably. All right. I'm going to go ahead and check climbs off of this list. There are other events where I do take climbs. Climbs are my giant dog training platforms that also are just incredibly useful portable platforms. <laughs> um, and you know, the legs pop out and screw off and snap underneath and they make, and they, I've taken them to a number of uh, author table events and use them as extra table space, um, not out for display, but like behind my table where I can have, now I have basically, I've created some shelves that fit behind my table or something. But uh, Gen Con is really tight on space, so I think that's not going to be an option here. Uh, everything needs to be very, very, very snug. Which is great, because I'm also taking probably the largest amount of product. <laughs> so, yeah, be as, uh, be as efficient as possible with my space. It's probably going to be no climbs. Just figure out everything I'll have to store under, under a table in a box. Are you working? Yeah, there you go. Okay, do that. Okay, let me go see. Let me go see what I've got for the poet's eye.
you just do it like this. That's really fun. So interesting. Photoshop doesn't show all the things you do. That's okay. Work it out. You don't get any of the menus that I'm doing, for example. Hi. <laughs> Save this as something else before I break things. I want to save this in Gen Con folder. Experiment totally with this going on over here. I don't like any of this.
Hello, DM Stretch. Thanks for stopping by. At this point, I'm just hanging out and working. So, right now I'm kicking around a Photoshop file that I don't really like yet. <laughs> That's okay. We got time. go hit some place I can make a QR code so I'll be back in a second Oh, just got in from work. Great, Jim. That's awesome. Get comfortable. I don't want to use the pro account. I just want to make it cheap. I just want to make a cheap QR code. Can I can I just make a cheap QR code? Cheap QR code. This looks like a great place for one of those little boxes that we worked on earlier. I like this one. And again, I like to always double check my QR codes just because just because they're supposed to work doesn't mean they do work. So 
on your camera. See where it takes me. Okay, check it out. There it is. Shiny, shiny. Okay. Ta da! Alright. Good, good. Thank you, Megan. That is, what is that? That is work in progress, which is probably the best typeface to choose for an ongoing serial, right? Yes, worked out nicely. I collect fonts and typefaces. I, uh, I am that person who will find the package deal and splurge for it, but then I always have something for what I, when I need it, so. Still not real happy with that title layout but honestly the whole thing's a bit of a temporary deal anyway so um, what if what if I do it this way feel about this. I think it's a little less. Are you lined up at all? You are not lined up at all. No wonder you're ugly. Yeah, I don't like that at all. How are you doing this? Stop it. Again, you will always hear me talking to Photoshop because it is the only way it gets done. Okay, I think I hate that a lot less. I'm not sure if I like it yet, but I hate it less. All right. <laughs> there you go. And that means I can move these up. Oh, hey, let's stop that. Okay, stop, stop. There we go. Let's take all these with us. There we go.
how do we feel about this? Friends, what do we think here? I'm going to bring up my fireflies a little bit. Kind of have you guys hanging out at the end. Here we go. Okay. Yes, look at you. That's so much better than where we started. Dog just to lamp bandaged me. Turn off the dog cam. She's downstairs now doing something. I'm going to duplicate this. And let's just take all of this stuff out. I was pretty sure I had a version of that with a transparent background. Where did that go? And that wasn't it.
that's very pretty. I don't think it's going to print well. So let's try something else. where we just pull out all the terrible Photoshop styles. drop our opacity here. Welcome back, DM Stretch.
right, where did I leave my... Okay. I have done back in five, which it actually says back in ten, but you know, it's a crowded venue. I want to give myself some time to stand in line at the restroom. I have a poet's eye sign. I have a newsletter sign. Uh, books and audiobooks, I do have that. I can do it better though, so I'm not going to check that off just yet. Pin and discount. I can actually blend that with the pins and pins and stickers, which I need. And I can put prices right on that one, so that'll work. And I can put the contact free payment on this sign. And that'll save me one extra thing to make. And I can put bundles on there too, why not? There we go. Okay. These are all just going to be things I need to pack. So there we go. So yeah, oh yeah, got to turn off the dog cam because she left me. Downstairs doing fun do dog things. guys well that is a little peek I hope into um, how I'm prepping for different kinds of events um, and then an extended watch me actually prep <laughs> there at the end so uh, yeah um, so that's it what, what, what have we got going on next week I have calendars for this whole Oh, next week's the create-in. So it is bring a project and we will work along uh, with guided sprints and you can work on absolutely anything. It could be a manuscript. It could be a cross-stitch project. It could be prepping your dinners and getting them in the freezer. Or it could be, you know, doing your stretches and push-ups. I don't care. We're going to do it together with moral support. So come for that next next week's created the weekend after that is a world building talk i'm gonna have elena in to talk about a period of transportation that is largely forgotten and ignored in american history and how that was influential in uh social development and such uh and so you can take these are things that we just need to think about when we're doing a world building so make sure you are here for that so, hey, thanks, Megan. Yeah, I will uh, absolutely be, um, you, honestly, the first place to see them will be on Instagram when I get things set up. I'm going to take a look, I did it photo, and it will be on Instagram because that is frequently what I do when I get a, uh, at a table or a booth up that I'm proud of. So, yes, and thank you, Fifi. Thank you guys for coming and hanging out as we do this. And, um, yeah, if you ever have questions on this stuff, feel free to ask. I am happy to happy to talk about it. Um, the big thing again is like, you know, what I, can I tell at a glance, is this the mood tone genre that I want? Yes, no. After that, everything else is gravy. So I mean, not totally gravy. You should have, make it easy for people to give you money. It's like a really important rule, but after that. Okay. All right. And then I am going to sign off tonight, uh, and grab some food <laughs> and, uh, then get back to some of the other work that I have to do. So everybody take care and I will see you next week. Okay. Bye.